Patrick Peterson to the Steelers, and knowing that P2 is still performing at this high of a level at 33, give me your grade on Patrick Peterson to the Steelers. A plus, A plus, A plus, A plus, A plus, A plus, A plus. <laughs> Anyone who knows me knows that after the Packers, I love the Steelers, and it's mostly to do with Mike Tomlin. This is a defense that a couple years ago was the worst Steelers defense we'd ever seen because they couldn't stop the code, they couldn't stop the run, they couldn't stop the pass, they couldn't stop me from running 100 yards if I felt like it. Um, you bring in Pat Pete, like you said, he is older, but he's still producing at a very high to – it's productive. He's being efficient. This is still a pretty young defense, right, and they're going to keep bringing in that young defense. This is a football team. I've been saying it, saying it, saying it, saying it, saying it. I'm going to keep saying it until someone listens to me. This is a football team that is very young offensively but has a lot of experience defensively. And if this defense can be the key for them – sorry, I slammed my table and my light fell. Uh, if, if this defense, can, if the defense can be the key for them winning football games, that takes off so much pressure off of Kenny Pickett, who's going to be in his second year. It takes off so much pressure off of George Pickens, so much pressure off of Deontay Johnson, off of Najee Harris, because this offense isn't that great. It's because of the O-line, but it's still not that great. There's talent, but the O-line sucks. I love the Patrick Peters. When you talk about having a vocal leader on the football field for you, one of the first guys whose names should come up in that conversation is Patrick Peterson. He, he was that for the Cardinals. He was that for the Vikings. He's going to be that for the Steelers, and it's going to be a game changer in a division that might not be the best division in football like we expect the AFC West to be, but it's the toughest and the most physical division in football. And when you you when you when need physicality, you call Patrick Peterson. That's why, the, that's why the Cardinals had him. That's why the Vikings took him. And that's why the Steelers have him now. Physicality and vocal leadership, I love this move by the Steelers. Me too. Going to give it an A++++, like you said as well. Alan, I see your comment there. We'll get to it in just a second. We'll actually grade that one for you if you stick around. So you look at Patrick Peterson. He was second in the league last year with five interceptions. He was also tied for fifth in the NFL in pass breakups as well. And it was big for them to get P2 because Pittsburgh had just lost Sutton to the Lions, who signed a nice deal, which really hurt Um Pittsburgh secondary you look at his PFF grade 80.5 grade at 33 years old to me is very impressive that that feels elite for a 33 year old corner in the NFL that's went through a couple of teams now 82.5 PFF coverage grade in 2022 was the second best of his personal career and you get durability with Patrick Peterson at the end of the day over 12 seasons he's only missed 10 total games you put him next to Minka Fitzpatrick who is regarded as maybe the best safety in the NFL you get a blue chip defensive player now on a nice defensive culture and now, with Devin McCourty announcing his retirement, Patrick Peterson and his former teammate Harrison Smith are the current active interceptions leaders with 34 apiece. 